What's up guys? I am in Bergen, Norway today. Had full intentions to get up and shoot sunrise this morning, but I needed to sleep. This whole like light all the time thing is totally messing with my brain. Um, I was also planning on exploring today, but I have to catch up on some work. So I'm gonna run downtown, find a cafe to do some work at, and I also have to hit up a camera store, and then I'm gonna go waterfall chasing this afternoon. I'm leaving Bergen right now and sadly I didn't really get to give Bergen the chance it deserves because it does look really really cool but I did really 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 need to get caught up on work because I start my assignment my 14 day project with Top Deck Travel tomorrow and I didn't want to get behind so um, I'm leaving now as I mentioned I know I'll come back to Bergen because it looks beautiful and photogenic. It is my first waterfall, which is Findafossen, Tvindafossen, Tvindafossen, something like that. And it was basically pouring, pouring, pouring rain the entire way here. And then like a minute or two before coming here, the clouds broke open and it hopefully will stay nice the rest of the evening. It's already 7.30 and I want to see three waterfalls and shoot three waterfalls. So I'm going to run in there now and grab some photos and then move on to waterfall number two. There's a couple photos I took up at the waterfall where I'll shot on the 16 to 35 millimeter lens. I was using a Lee Little Stopper, so that's a six stop ND filter. Just as I was leaving, a massive tour bus full of people showed up. So I kind of hit the jackpot with both the weather and the lack of tourists. I'm walking down the highway actually, because there's like these barns and this farm here. And I think it might make a cool foreground to the, to the waterfall. So hopefully the weather holds off because it's definitely coming back. I'm gonna try a couple shots from up here on the road and then I'll hit the road. Check that, rain came in quicker than I expected. Let's hit the road. I'm at waterfall number two, which is called, it's called something Fossen. Skvensvin Fossen. Skvensvin Fossen. And there's actually some beautiful light now, so I'm gonna shut up and take a picture. Talk a lot about beautiful versus photogenic. This is a really beautiful waterfall, but it's not super photogenic. Kind of hard to photograph too because there's so much spray. So I'm gonna move on. I've got one more waterfall I wanna shoot, but first I gotta find a campsite and then I'll go find the third waterfall.
Okay, Norway, this is a little bit of a complaint. I'm driving along Highway 7, this incredible highway, this stunning highway that just runs along this fjord, and there's nowhere to pull over to take a picture. I'm like 86% sure I'm parked illegally on the opposite side of the road here, but I don't even care right now. I need to shoot something. I need to take some pictures of this because it's way too beautiful not to. On the bright side, it's probably a good thing there aren't pullouts because if there were more pullouts, I would never ever make it anywhere because it is way too beautiful. I want to stop everywhere. Everywhere. So, Norway, please put more pullouts in for me to take pictures in. And Norway, thanks for the lack of pullouts so I can actually make it to places. The light is popping off and I'm stuck at construction, so I might not make it in time for sunset, let alone to my camping spot, but I'm gonna try. They say 15 minutes more. So the good news is the light is popping. The good news also is I'm at the waterfalls, I think. Well, I can definitely hear the waterfalls down there. The bad news is this isn't where I wanted to photograph them from. Whoa, that's steep. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so steep so soon. I see like some people way up on the ledge up there and I don't know if they walked or if there's a road. There's like a hotel up there. So I think I gotta continue up this road. That road that I just came up to get here was maybe the coolest road I've ever driven. We went straight up this mountain, like spiraling through the tunnels. Absolutely crazy. Um, I guess I'm gonna risk this and keep driving up the road and seeing if I can shoot from that hotel because I think that's a better angle. Definitely at the right spot now, although there's some construction, I think, from the best viewpoint, but hopefully I can find a cool composition angle here. The light is incredible, although there's some fog in the valley blocking one of the falls, maybe caused by the falls, but yeah, let's get the camera gear out and let's get some photos. This is awesome. Um, this is when you really have to trust your camera gear. I've got my camera set up over there on the Gorillapod, just basically shooting straight down. It's hanging like 500 meters straight off the ground. Uh, the fog just popped in. Hopefully it clears out. The light was epic until the moment I shot my first shot. So hopefully it comes back. If not, we got sunrise too. So I'm a little bit choked because I literally missed the great light by like maybe two or three minutes. If I wouldn't have stopped in the lower viewpoint, I probably would have got a couple of shots. On the bright side, it's still stunning. I'm messing around with some really, really long exposures. So I've got like two and a half, three minute exposures going vertically right now. And they're coming out really cool. So I totally had intentions of camping, but then I realized that I start my top deck travel trip tomorrow, and that means shared accommodation for like 14 days. So I really wanted to kind of splurge and have my own room for another night, especially since it's gonna be a short night since I'm getting up for sunrise. And this hotel's really cool and the location's amazing, obviously, because it's right above the falls. If it was still lightish outside, you would see the falls out that window, which is really cool. Now I'm calling this a vlog. Peace. Thank you.